Hey, it's Elizabeth Thomas of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to do the best Costco for beginners grocery shopping list. Coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Thomas of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to do the best Costco grocery shopping list. If you like this video, smash that like button. Make sure you click subscribe to see all things keto, all things intermittent fasting on my 83 pound weight loss journey. And make sure you sign up for my free keto grocery shopping list, easy keto recipes. I have a weekly Wednesday meal plan, a keto diet meal plan, my gift for you that's part of this video. So let's dive in. I'm doing a week's worth of Costco for beginner meals, easy keto meals, right? Here it's Royal Weight Loss Meets Real Life. I like to keep things here super simple. So what we're gonna do for our meals is gonna be very, very basic, easy, and fun, and it's keto diet for beginners intentionally to make it simple. So first I have my keto shopping list. Part two in the series is gonna be me at Costco doing the grocery shopping haul, and part three will be me doing the Costco keto meal prep for the keto meals and the grocery shopping. So it's a three-part series. Here's the first part with the keto for beginners shopping list. So let me tell you the first couple of meals that we're gonna go ahead and make for this awesome shopping list. One, we're gonna do a keto chicken nuggets recipe. Ah, if you have children, this makes it really, really simple on the ketogenic diet. They don't even know that they're keto chicken nuggets and not real chicken nuggets and they taste delicious. Number two, we're gonna go ahead and do um, some fish and it's gonna be not gross fish, it's gonna be fried fish recipe and a grilled fish recipe. Number three, so that's one, two, three. Number four is gonna be steaks. Number five is going to be Zsa Zsa burgers. I have a great recipe for you for simple keto burgers that you might not have had before. And um, we're also gonna get some bacon asparagus wraps going too. These are super simple. They're also freezer friendly. I like to do my keto meals. If you've seen any of my Amazon keto videos or my Walmart keto videos, Costco, uh, Aldi keto videos, I have tons of them in my ketogenic playlist down below. But I like to freeze meals to use them because A, to save money for keto on a budget and B, time hacks. We're busy people, right? Like if you're watching this, you're probably a busy chickadee or a chicka dude and want some keto for beginner options. So. As with all keto meals, they are high fat, moderate protein, low carb. So you're gonna need on your keto shopping list, organic chicken. And I like to say, obviously organic is best and grass fed is best, but do the best you can afford. There is no guilt, shame, or condemnation here on this channel. So organic chicken breast is what I'm getting. You do the best you can afford. I'm gonna get some pork rinds or pork panko. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Eggs. Parmesan, and that's going to make my fried, um, not my fried, my keto chicken nuggets. Super simple recipe, and that you can freeze it too after we make it, and that will be in part three. We're gonna get some steaks, New York strip steaks or ribeyes, because it has high fat, moderate protein, hamburgers, but we're gonna do Zsa Zsa hamburgers. So with that, we're gonna use some of the other items we've purchased in our haul. We can put some guacamole on there for some high fats or avocado or a fried egg or bacon, or I can put a lot of different things on there. <laughs> the next part we're gonna do, and my personal favorite, is a fried fish recipe that you can freeze and redo over and it doesn't taste gross, and a grilled fish recipe. So we're gonna need some fish also in addition to our ground beef and our steaks. And we're going to need with that also going back, I like to use the ingredients we purchased so we're not wasting money. So we'll use some of our pork rinds, we'll use some of our Parmesan, but we're also going to get some of our basil pesto. Y'all, if you ever saw my big fat Greek wedding, put in the comments below uh, about how they talk about Windex. I don't use Windex, I use basil pesto. It's my obsession from Costco. It's so good and it's an awesome high fat, moderate protein, low carb item. So that is on our keto shopping list. Um, butter, I like their Kerrygold butter. However, Aldi now has a, a, a faux Kerrygold butter. It's, a, it's, it's much cheaper, it's the same thing. It's grass-fed butter. So if you are new with your keto diet for beginners, grass-fed butter is less grains that the cows are ingesting. They're eating grass, right? They're not eating grains or other whack food that can be inflammatory. So that's the big deal with that. When people say grass-fed, it prevents inflammation. Also, the cows are better treated, more humanely raised. There's a bunch of other things and reasons why, and I've done grass-fed videos talking more about that. 
Um, next, we have two cups of our spinach. I will get the organic spinach because it's not that much more expensive at Costco to get that keto vegetable. Our next keto meal, easy keto meal that we're gonna have is our bacon wrapped asparagus, meaning we're gonna need bacon and meaning we're gonna need asparagus. I'm gonna use my air fryer, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it in your oven too for part three, which will be our keto meal prep with it. But in terms of the Costco keto for beginner shopping list, so incredibly simple for you um, that you can pick these up really quickly. Um, and if you need to interchange of what's in your refrigerator. So that's where I talk about time saving hack and money saving hack. Check in your pantry, that's my pantry, and my refrigerator to see what I already have. If I already have a bunch of these items, I'm not going to purchase them just for the sake of a video. I actually, in fact, might even substitute them. So if I look in my refrigerator and I say, oh gosh, I have in here, instead of having steaks, I have um, pork tenderloin that I can, I can use instead um, or grill up some other kind of meat, then I'm going to substitute that. I would encourage you, Royal Weight Loss Meats Real Life, you to substitute what you have. Maybe you saw a great sale on sausage last week. You substitute things, substitute the things you know, for what you find on sale to make this a lifestyle that is healthful, right? Like keto is healthful of high fat, moderate protein, low carb, and getting into ketosis, the fat burning state, is eating these foods, but using what you have. You don't have to go out and buy super expensive stuff. And that's my big motto is I think people think you have to have ribeyes every night. And while I love my ribeyes and I love my New York strip steaks and that's why they're on my meal plan, but it doesn't have to be super expensive. Even this fish that we're purchasing is going to be thoughtful and smart in the manner in which we cook our meals to make them not super expensive, but for beginners to help you lose weight and to have less inflammation. These are not inflammatory foods. Um, and we'll talk about ingredients in food products to make them have less inflammation. So that's our full Costco keto shopping list for beginners. I said on here eggs, we're going to have some of those for some extra hard boiled things that we'll be doing too. So check out part two, which will be the Costco grocery haul, the Costco keto grocery haul, and part three, which will be the keto diet meal prep. Um, but this is our, our keto meal plan, so to speak, for the week. Um, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button, make sure you click subscribe and sign up for this free Costco keto shopping list. Get the keto recipes that go along with the shopping list and then also what the meals are going to be for the week. So let's make it a powerful day, friends, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>